Whoa, dude, check these out. I am hanging out with Seth Hanbury today, and these are some of his favorite, favorite animals in his collection. Dude, cane toads, giant cane toads. Tell us about these guys. So these are uh, some of my favorite animals in the world, like he said. This is ruby, emerald, and sapphire. And I call them that because they're the jewels of my collection. And none of them are princes. So that works out because they're all girls anyway, but um, they're actually super, super toxic. So I can handle them and kiss them, but if you wanted to eat one, um, you would be in really bad shape. After about 45 minutes, this would kill you. Um, and they're super invasive all over the world. They're native in South Central America, even in South Texas, um, but they've been introduced all over Hawaii, most notably Australia. And the problem was they thought they would eat cane beetles. But the cane beetles live too high in the plants, so the frogs can't eat them. Um, and so they're just invasive all over the world, and they're not even doing the job they were supposed to. And anything that eats them dies. So you can see what she's doing here. This is Ruby. And we're puffing up really, really big, right? And what that is, is that's to say, you can't eat me. She's inflating her lungs just as full as she possibly can to try and look like she's too big to fit in your mouth. And she's definitely, she's too big to fit in my mouth. So it is working. But if a toad ever pees on you, it's because their lungs will squish their bladder and they inevitably pee on you, just inadvertently. It's not intentional. They don't mean to pee on you, but they do It's because mean, they're trying to make themselves look they big. They do mean to look as big as possible. Like a cobra hoods up. It's because they want to look bigger than they are. Um, same with these guys. It's just in nature, if you can make yourself look bigger, it's great. And look at their beautiful colors. Beautiful. I think they're beautiful. Their eyes. I really love their eyes. And what all do you guys feed them? Um, I mean, mostly crickets, mealworms, things like that. But they'll also take um, mice, rats, chicks. Um, pretty much anything that they think they can overpower and fit in their mouth, they'll eat. Some people even feed them like dog food. They'll just like sniff out and eat dog food. Wow, those, are, those guys are incredible. And so what we're going to do now here, guys, is we're going to go ahead and uh, um, milk one of them. You're going to show the toxins. Yeah, so I'll show you guys the toxins. So, so as she is right here, like if you tried to eat her, obviously um, it could kill you. Um, but like her skin... Her skin could be toxic. Some people get sick just holding them, um, but generally speaking, it's, it's not toxic enough to hurt you just holding them. But these parotid glands here, these parotid glands are full of bufotoxin and bufotinian, and if you squeeze them like a pimple, I'll show you here. Come on, big girl. She doesn't even want to. Whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Almost in my eye there. Almost in my <laughs> yeah, eye there, Seth. The you put, you put the, the toxic, toxic toad. So it's, it, it literally comes right out of the glands. Yeah, you can see all these pores. And it comes right out of there and it's shot out of there. <laughs> um, hopefully it didn't get in oh, Charles' mouth. I, get, I feel like um, I have a taste. It's in the but, air. But this is, this is extremely, extremely toxic bufotoxins and bufotinians right there. Um, and that's obviously not a fatal amount for a, probably a grown human, but... Um, certainly, um, you wouldn't want to be messing around with it. Wow. That's incredible.